Chevy problems, am I right? <laughs> Good evening. Welcome to Quad Boss Elite, guys. Today, yes, we're working on the Silverado, but it's because, uh, well, we're not upgrading. We're just solving an issue. So it finally got a little cold in Arizona. About time, right? It's October. You know, hopefully it would cool down, but probably when I upload, it's probably November. But anyways, um, so it, the other morning it got to about 58 degrees and I'm kind of a windows down type of person. If there's any of you out there, you know, the feeling it's nice to have fresh air and not the AC people, but normally I'll roll with the windows down and I'll turn the heater on the floorboard and kind of just warm my feet. But other than that, I could stand having my head cold. I'm not a person that has to bundle up when it's 60 degrees outside. So but the other day I tried to turn on the heater and the heater worked obviously, but I went to go switch to the feet and it would not switch to the feet. It'd still blow out of the face fence. And I was like, what the heck? Um, I, so I looked online and then um, mo most of the time I'd only find the automatic temperature control reset, which I don't have automatic, it's all manual. So that obviously didn't work for me. And I kept looking and looking and people were telling me it was, you know, the, um, one of the actuators underneath the passenger side and that was for like temperature control and i was like well that's not my problem either i found this one video um and it showed the mode selector actuator which is underneath the driver's door and we're gonna give that a try because i don't think it's the actual control box up front here i don't think it's that but I'm going to check underneath uh, the driver's door where it's at and um, let me bring you guys down there with me. So as you could tell, I have it on three here and as you could tell, it's blowing, right? I'm sure you guys can hear the wind there. Now I switched it to the feet, right? It should be blowing on the feet. Well, it's not. If I go underneath here by the feet, the vent box there, you guys aren't hearing anything, right? So it's not blowing out where it needs to. And there's a mode actuator right back there. I'll take this vent box off so I can show you. Yeah, didn't Chevy do a great job there? Anyways, let me take that off and I'll show you guys where it's at. So what I've read online is that this should just slide out, I think. All right, just to show you where those screws are at, you can see the top one there, and then there's the second one down there. So I'm gonna finish taking those out and then we should be able to pull this straight out. I already unhooked the wiring harness right there, and then we'll be able to pull it straight out. All right, so I got it out. Be, I can't stress this enough, be careful when you take this actuator out. There is a plastic knob up there which controls your flapper. You gotta be careful. You don't wanna pull too hard or you will break that and you will have a hell of a mess trying to fix that. You'd have to tear the whole dash apart. So be very gentle taking this out. Okay, so I got the old actuator out. Now, when we put this back in, you'll notice here is the new one here i got the original manufacturer i got ac delco you, you always whenever you replace parts like this you always want to go with the original manufacturer it always works out better but if you notice i'll set that there you notice how the plates are in different positions that's because they're on different modes so what this what um these actuators do is they're timed so when you select something it's got a certain time to get to that so what I'm gonna do, I hook the battery back up and I'm just gonna make sure that it's running on the face vents so I know that that's where this new one needs to be. All right, so if I, you guys can hear, it's on the face vents and I'll make sure I go up here on the dash, I don't feel anything floorboard I don't feel anything so it's strictly on the face vents so I need to make sure that this one gets to the face vents on that one now one thing I did want to show you guys is this is the new actuator here if you notice I'm trying to move it and it's not moving the old one it is moving so I have a feeling maybe a gear or something in there as gone bad but a 20 year old part and you know what more can you ask for so um 
I'm gonna get these calibrated to where they were before and then I will show you how to put them back together. Alrighty, so before you ever plug this thing in, do not go all the way, do, you, do not max it out on the defrost or else you will have to go in here and you will have to take it apart and move the gears. I was stupid and I went all the way because I like to test things before I install them. And I basically maxed this thing out. Luckily I was able to move the gears back and be able to attempt to use it again as a $80 part. So I really did not want to screw it up. So now I'm going to install it again and then I will test out from there. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. We are all done. I put it back up in there and I put all the vents and stuff together. So, um, but before I put it, all those vents back and all that, I tested it to make sure it works and it works, works great. I have air coming all of that where it's supposed to be at the right times. So um, I can go ahead and demonstrate that for you guys right now. Alrighty, so here is our control panel. We're gonna turn it on to five so that way you guys can hear it. So I have it on the face right now. You guys hear that? And then now if I switch it to feet, now you guys should hear it by the feet. Which I'm sure you do. And then if I switch it to the defrost, I can switch it back to the face. Now you hear it on the face. So now that I was able to get that in, I'm happy. Um, wish it didn't cost 80 bucks, but you know, it is what it is. So I got all my, uh, I got my floorboard heat back, which is good because it's starting to get cold here now. So now's the time to, to uh, replace it. So glad it worked out well. If you have a truck like mine, let me know in the comments if it worked for you. It should from uh, 99 to 06. Uh, Chevy Tahoe's and Silverado's, GMC Sierra's, all that fun stuff. So uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Check out our Silverado Restoration Series, guys. That's the best series we've had so far. I just started last week of the how-tos on the Silverado, so go check that one out. Um, this will be part of those how-tos. So. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please give this video a like, subscribe to Claw Boss Elite, and I'll catch you on the next one.